Hey guys, Mr. Riz here to help you out on the next part of chapter five. What we're going to be doing here is solving the quadratic uh, equations using the quadratic formula like we've done before in chapter four. But this time we're going to give exact solutions. So we're not going to round with our decimals or anything like that. We're still going to use the same formula of x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. But when we get to the square root, we are not going to just get a decimal. We're going to break it down and then simplify from what we can. Okay, so let's jump into this since this is something we've done before. So in this first example here, we're going to type in the quadratic formula. So we got x equals negative. Our b number is 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared. So 4 squared minus 4 times a is 2 times c is 1 all over 2 and a is 2. Okay, so just plug the numbers in, just like before. The next step was then to simple or multiply. So negative times 4 is negative 4, plus or minus the square root of 4 times 4 is 16, minus 4 times 2 times 1 is 8, over 2 times 2 is 4. Oh, did not mean to erase that whole square root, just wanted to make it a little shorter. Okay. So then the next thing we did was to simplify in the square root. And we'd say, okay, negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 8 is 8 over 4. Okay, so what we would typically do after this was before we would just take the square root of 8 and we'd get like 2 point whatever something. And we'd write that number down and get a decimal. Well, to get an exact solution, what we're going to do is just break down the square root. So I kind of like using prime factorization here. Okay, 8 is 4 times 2. And then 4 is 2 times 2. And to get out of a square root, you need to have a pair. All right, so that means what we're going to say is x equals negative 4 plus or minus 2 radical 2 over 4. We broke down the square root of 8 to 2 radical 2. All righty, so this is how we get an exact solution. We're going to give our answers with square roots. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to reduce. And to reduce, we look on the numbers that are not inside of the square root. And we're going to see if we can divide all of those numbers by the same thing. So can we divide negative 4, 2, and 4 by the same thing? Yeah, we can actually divide them all by 2. And so if we do that, we get a negative 2 plus or minus 1 radical 2 over 2. We only do the numbers outside of the square root. We do not change the number inside. Uh, and then if you want to get real fancy, if you have 1 radical 2, you could just call that radical 2. And that is the exact solution. You have one answer that's negative 2 plus the square root of 2, then divided by 2. And then you have negative 2 minus the square root of 2 over 2. Um, so this is what we're going to do. So this actually, you know, is an exact solution. This is a super precise answer that we're giving. And I kind of like this too, because it's a little bit less math that we have to deal with, like less decimals, just kind of easier numbers in my opinion. So we're going to keep practicing this, making sure we get the hang of this, going over multiple examples. So if you feel like you kind of got this, want to pause the video to try some on your own, do that. I'm going to get this one started here. So we got X equals negative. B is negative 10 plus or minus the square root of, we got B squared is negative 10 squared minus 4 times A is 2, B, C is 3, all over 2, and A is 2. All righty. So next, negative, negative 10. When we multiply that, that's positive 10 plus or minus the square root of negative 10 squared is a hundred, a positive a hundred, minus four times two is eight, eight times three is 24, all over two times two is four. Okay, so then we would get x equals 10 plus or minus the square root of 76, if we subtract 124, or four. All right, let's break down the 76. Okay, let's see. That's 2 and 38. 
Yeah. All right, 38 is uh, 2 and 19. Yep, and that's it. So, but we got a pair of twos. So the one thing too, it's nice about this. If this doesn't break down at all, then we're, we're at the answer, we're done. But we can break this down uh, so we can get a two out. Sorry, my wife is texting me about her car. It's okay. And over four, okay. So then we're gonna go through, we got it broken down. We're gonna just see our outside numbers. Can we divide them all? Yep, we can divide them all by two. So the answer is five plus or minus one or just radical 19 over two. There's the exact answer. It probably equals some decimal, but really we're working on exact solutions here. Uh-oh. Oh no. I, gotta, I think I gotta close this and reopen this. I'll just do it. There should be no problem here. Um, to see all the stuff on my flash drive real quick. Uh, radicals and imaginary number pack. Scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. Hey, there we go. All right, two more examples here, and then you guys have some CYU problems here. Once again, if you want to pause the video, try any of these on your own, feel free, but let's jump into it. Okay, we got x equals negative, b is negative 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared, or negative 4 squared in this case, minus 4 times a, which is 3, times c is negative 2, all over 2, times a is 3. All right. So let's multiply here. Negative times negative four is a positive four. Plus or minus the square root of negative four squared is positive 16. Negative four times three is negative 12. Negative 12 times negative two is a positive 24. And then two times three is six. Alrighty, we can add and we get four plus or minus the square root of 16 plus 24 is 40 over six. We'll break down the 40. 40 is four and 10, two and two, two and five. That means we get to break one, two out and then the two and the five stay inside. So we get four plus or minus two radical 10 over six. We just double check, can we divide four, two and six? Yeah, we can divide them all by two. So we'd get two plus or minus radical 10 over three. All right, last example here. One thing we need to make sure that we have is that all the answers, all the equations must be equal to zero. So we're going to have to add the negative 5 over, so add 5 over to the other side. So this is going to become x squared, or 8x squared plus 6x plus 5 equals 0. There's our a, b's, and c's. All right, so we got x equals negative b is 6 plus or minus the square root of b squared, or 6 squared minus 4 times a is 8. c is 5. Ooh, that's interesting. Yep. All over two times A is eight. I'm saying this because we this is gonna go over what we're gonna talk about in our next section. Already predicting what's gonna happen here. Okay, we got negative six plus or minus. All right, six squared is 36, and then minus four times eight is 32, 32 times five is 160. All right, and then if we subtract, we get plus or minus the square root of negative 124. Now, remember, we cannot take the square root of a negative, and what we used to say is no real solutions. 
what we're going to talk about on the next section is we can still give an answer. So remember, if we can take the square root of negative, we don't get a real solution. We just get an imaginary solution. So this is just giving you guys a heads up of what's to come. I think the problem is I should probably made that a positive five that we move over to make it negative. But it's going to work out okay. Um, alrighty, guys. Um, so this wraps up this little part here. If you guys have any questions, make sure you reach out and ask. But if not watch this video, pause it, try to do some on your own. And uh, there you go. All right, good luck with this. Have a good one, guys. See ya.